This is a business in a box, and if you have a three quarter ton truck or bigger, you can hook up to this thing. Disconnect the cable, pull it up, tip down and go, right? At this point, you can release the cable. You've dropped it, it's ready to be filled. Uh, you're, you're, you're ready to start collecting money. Okay. Morning. So right now we're at D&D Trailers down in Seguin, Texas, and we're gonna meet up with a guy named Rene. And he's with a company called Durahaw and they spilled a roll-off dumpster designed for pickup trucks. And this has been something that has fascinated me for quite a long time. Let's go this way. Uh, because I've always thought, man, if you had a roll-off for a truck, you could utilize it inside of your company, or if it takes off, you could use it as an additional service onto or a separate business all on its own. You just, you've already used, you've already got the equipment, you've already got a truck that you're running your business with. Can you actually add this as a bump on service? Here it is, I'm looking at it for the first time with you guys. So this is a roll off trailer designed to be pulled behind a pickup truck. Yes, absolutely. So the truck that a guy is already using in his business, he now can expand his services and do just a whole, it's almost like a new a branch yes. of business that a guy could possibly do with something like this. Yeah, exactly. So this is a business in a box, and if you have a three quarter ton truck or bigger, you can hook up to this thing, right? It's your, it's your standard, uh, gooseneck coupler. You don't need a dually? Setup. You don't need a dually, no. So just a three quarter single axle pickup or truck. Or bigger. And this is a business, so this is like, when I was thinking of it, and guys, this is Renee from Dura Hall Trailers, and Renee is actually a trailer manufacturer. So he builds trailers. He builds, he builds Dura Hall. And Big Bend. Big Bend, he builds all sorts of trailers. And so what I was thinking with this thing, Renee, is, I wanted something that I could drop a bin off at one site. Yes. Go to a different crew, drop a bin off over at that crew. Absolutely. And then here's my here's the way my brain was thinking. I'm in Minnesota. Yes. And I don't my guys we twiddle our thumbs. If it's not snowing, my guys are just going stir crazy, right? Yeah. I could then sell dumpsters and have my guys that I want to keep working year round just pick up and drop off dumpsters at different locations absolutely without a semi without, without a semi without no extra uh, driver license requirements no you usually in most states no cdl required so again your average pickup three quarter ton or larger will pull this thing and with your normal driver license in most states you should be totally fine okay walk me through yeah. what we're actually looking at okay. with this thing Renee. so again a 7 by 14 gooseneck setup roll off dumpster trailer so the chassis is the first part of the trailer it comes so that's this whole unit over here right so and this is separate so this is separate right right here so this is your some pe people call it a can some people call it a a dumpster bin etc but essentially you can buy this chassis this the, the main trailer portion of it with all of its components and features the winch the whole bit Okay. 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 And uh, then you can buy all the bins or the cans that you want or that you need to expand your business. Okay. So what what is a setup like this? Like like we see right here. If a guy was saying, "Hey, I want to get this," what what does that cost right there? So this setup right here will MSRP right around twenty thousand dollars. Okay. So twenty grand. Now, if they want just a separate can. What is that going for? So our separate can will run anywhere from about $5,500 to $6,500, depending where you're buying it from, depending on the shipping costs incurred, et cetera. For 30 grand. 30, 32 grand, depending on where you're from. You could have the, you could have three dumpsters and yes. be supporting three separate crews. Yes. Running a, a, your construction company. Absolutely. And the, and is that kind of like the good sweet spot for a guy starting out? Uh, like. A trailer and 
three cans or what is that? Most guys will start off with a trailer and three cans. Okay. Uh, anybody that has had some experience in this will usually go four or five cans immediately just because they're already in the business and they know how it works. Okay, speaking of that, yeah. how does the pricing work on something like this? So I, I really want to have, when we're done with this video, I want these guys to be able to walk away with at least a good sense of direction of what they can charge. And so can you help us figure that out? Yeah, so I, I have some generic data, but this is essentially a 13 cubic yard can. This is a 13 cubic yard this can? This is a 13 cubic yard can right That's here. That's the same size as on one of my dump trucks. Yeah. Yeah, essentially. Behind my pickup truck. Okay, exactly, okay. behind behind your pickup truck. And it is that 150 to $250 per drop, but that's for two or three days maximum. Okay, so for a, so, and is that, that doesn't include the tip fee though? That does not include the tip fee. That does not include the uh, pickup and removal either, right? That's just so that you bring the container there, they fill it, assuming it's normal, recyclable, uh, call it, you know, eco-friendly material. Yep, yep. Yes. And Absolutely. then they're charging separately for the dump. They're charging separately for the dump because that depends a lot on what kind of material you have in your container. I'm gonna jump in here, guys, because I know some of you guys have a lot of experience with roll-offs and I wanna make sure that we get the pricing right. So if there's a best, a good, better, and best way to price this out, will you guys with experience put it down in the comments down below? But here's a little bit more food for thought. This trailer is not just a roll-off trailer. This is an actual dump trailer. It does not have to be used as a roll-off. That means you don't have to leave the container behind. You can keep that container that that container always connected to the trailer and just use it as a dedicated dump trailer if need be. So there's no there's no greasing. You don't have to nothing to it, right? And you can do the same thing over here. Now your door's locked. Now your door's locked. That's right. Now you're ready to dump the contents and use it as a dump trailer. I've seen guys that do exactly this and they'll charge three to four hundred dollars for one, two, or three days. But they don't usually recommend that someone put more than two tons in there. However, this container is rated for up to four tons. This is a volume container, absolutely. Currently, this is a 14 foot long, four foot high side container. We will be coming out with two foot side containers and uh, hopefully by the end of uh, Q1 of 2023, we'll also be um, adding a deck. So just a flat deck. So let's say you drop the bin, the bin or, the, or the can at a different job site and now you need a flat deck trailer. Well, you don't have to go buy one. You can just go and buy the additional accessory which will be a complete deck you winch it onto here. The winch is already part of the trailer. It comes standard. Yeah. Right. And now you have a gooseneck flat deck trailer. Just like that. That is the perfect expansion for a, like a, an existing landscaping company to just be able to add a service onto it. Absolutely. It's almost like too ideal. Yeah. That's why, that's why I actually drove from Minnesota down to Texas is because I've been fascinated with this as a concept. But now this is kind of starting to bring it all to life, at least for me personally. I was walking by the ocean, feeling all the motion when she came right up. She's been handling just phenomenal. I mean, it's just nimble. I, I love, I mean, for a big 
for a big trailer, she does not handle like a big trailer. The only drawback I can see from driving down the road with a trailer this big is my fuel economy went from 17 miles a gallon down to 9.4. So she's just sucking fuel as fast as I can put it in. Other than that, boy, the trailer just goes in and out. She's just, I just really, really these out what are okay. we looking at with this thing Renee? all right so so let's start with the axles these are two 7k axles so the entire unit is rated at 14,000 pounds okay the actual unit weighs around 6,000 pounds so you got about 8,000 pounds left it has been designed engineered and manufactured to withstand more than that because that's just how we build things extra tough but at the end of the day, you want to try to keep to that limit. You can, however, order this same trailer with 8K axles as well, which would bring this whole, um, the whole capacity up another ton or another 2,000 pounds. We have a pretty unique design in our actual door system. So safety, safety latch at the top. You open it up. Down here, quick release, just like that, and you're open, right? You want to close it real quick, it's closed. Just oh, like that, that right? Nice. Come up here, you secure it in, you lock it in tight. Make sure you do this before you go anywhere and you're ready to go. Right now, every container has its own tarp and the reason that we do that is because different materials require different state laws for it to be tarped or mm -hmm. not, depending on where, and where you're driving. So that way you're always prepped and ready to go for that. All right, so, so here's a couple of things. Now, it might be a very small feature, but it's a very handy feature, right? And so most trailers, you wanna access your spare tire up here. You gotta somehow climb on top over here and get up the tire to go up, up in there with, with your tools, loosen it, you know, bring it down, bring the, the bad tire back up there, so on, right? So what we've designed is just a small little simple feature, right? It's got a bit of a safety pin right over here. You pull it out. Now, you, you don't have to be super strong, but, but, but you gotta be able to hold this. So you, put, you pull out the pin, you drop the tire. I'm doing this all with one arm, right? You lower it. Now you can unbolt it right here. You don't have to climb on top of everything. You unbolt it, you take off your spare tire. Simple as that. As soon as you're done, you put it back up over here. You put this pin back in there. Like, like so, safety pin goes in and you're done. A lot of gooseneck trailers, when you back up your truck, what you gotta do is once you line the actual ball with the coupler, you gotta get back onto the truck and then you gotta lower the latch to actually lock the coupler with the ball. So what, what we've designed here is basically you line up the coupler and the ball, you're still standing on the ground, your truck's over there. We got this little latching system here and voila it simply maneuvers that little lever there you can see it moving there right and it just locks it from down here and you're set so again it's just one of these little features that makes your life a little bit easier do it one more time will you renee yes sir that's it over here we have a charging system so you can put any 110, like with an extension cord, you can plug a 110 into here and it'll charge your batteries for you. All right. Now, this will tell you exactly where you're at with, 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 with your battery. So right now it tells us we're at medium right there. So we're not too high. It's got two interstate batteries. We have our standard KTI hydraulic USA pump. So once you load the actual bins or the cans, mm -hmm. you don't have to get on back of there and actually unload it manually. You can just dump it. And so here we have a Smitty built winch. And now if your battery's low over here or you want it corded, that, that's so the way to do it. So you can run it remotely or you can run it just like 
you can you can cord it and run it as well I, exactly and that's how you drop the dumpster off and that's how you drop the dumpster off and bring it back on and we'll demonstrate that all right here we go so we're first thing we do is we remove the safety chain next thing we do is we unlock the actual safety mechanism here and lock it back into place like so it's now completely loose except for the actual winch is still anchoring the bin so it's not going anywhere it's still anchored but now the safety mechanisms have been released okay. all right next thing we do is we're going to lift your control over here you press the button and wireless green light goes on you're ready to go stop it there I'm going to show you something real quick most times what you want to do is you want to tilt the trailer far enough so that this part comes pretty close to the ground here when you're putting it back on and I'll show you that but when you're putting the box down it's not a hundred percent necessary you kind of play with it depending on where gravity is and at what slope you're sitting mm, okay At this point, we could just drop and go. Disconnect the cable, pull it up, tip down and go, right? At this point, you can release the cable. You've dropped it. It's ready to be filled. Uh, you're, you're, you're ready to start collecting money. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> I well, like that. In box, We're going to collect money. <laughs> um, and so then now we've got a full dumpster. Yep. And we're coming in. Yeah. We line up, back up and just walk us through what the procedure looks like. So we're, we, we go up full in the air like this. All right. Then what you do is you tilt your trailer high enough so that the bottom loading ramp plates over here are pretty close to the ground, right? Okay. Then you attach your cable, the winch cable, mm -hmm. to the D-ring over there in the middle. Okay. Once that's done, you start pulling her up. And you can do that with this remote control so you can be close to it, not too close, but you can watch it. It starts to line itself and it starts to pull it up. Well, that's a pretty steep angle of attack. So I'm guessing you're gonna double fist it and use the other controller to drop it down at the same time. That's right. Okay. back in Hook your safety lock. chain on and you are in business you're ready to go and that is the loading and unloading procedure for dura hall is there anything else we need to know about a setup like this renee hey well i, I think that's that pretty much covers it at the end of the day always make sure that you've checked your lights you've checked your brakes Make sure that you're always safety first. That way, at the end of the day, we're getting our work done and we're all coming home safely. And at the end of the day, how do guys reach out to you one last time? I just want to make sure that you are a resource for these guys because some of these guys, this might be their first venture going into it, and I want to know who they could talk to to help them work out any of the details. Absolutely. So, durahall.com or on Instagram at durahall.trailers. So you guys, if you are actually in the market for one of these things, you don't have to chase them down um, with Corbett and Chase, and you guys will ship these trailers anywhere in the United States? Yes, Correct. sir. 
Okay, so what's the name of your company so these guys know where to call? D&D Texas Outfitters. Okay. In Seguin, Texas. In Seguin, Texas. Is there a phone number or what's the easiest way to get a hold of you guys? Yeah, our phone number is 830-379-7340. And so they can make a phone call, tell them they've seen the video, and you guys will know what they're talking about at that point. Yes, yes sir. Okay, very good. D&D Outfitters, they'll deliver them anywhere you guys are located. We even deliver to Canada. Deliver to the border. Yeah. To the border. Yeah. Okay, there you go. You got to come across yourself with it. All right, let's get back into the trailer. All right, and that's going to do it for today, you guys. I actually want your input. If you guys have uh, ran a system like this, if you have any advice, anything that you can share, uh, words of wisdom, that's what, I, that's what this is all about, is just let's spread that knowledge and help each other grow. A rising tide raises all ships, you guys. And the more information we can share with each other, the better we can run our own businesses and we're not undercutting each other and we're helping build each other up. But that's it for this, biz, uh, this business, this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this ride. My daughter and I, we've got uh, 1,200 miles to go up north with this setup right here. So we're going to be hitting the road. But while we're doing it, we're going to be bringing you more videos. So I hope you enjoyed this one. God bless you guys. Go get them. And we'll catch you guys on the next video.